let's find the approximate or natural period for buildings. So you may remember this equation here. This is the equation for natural period, but this only works for a single degree of freedom system. For this example, we're gonna be looking at a 12 story building and it's 156 feet tall. So we are not able to use this equation because this is definitely not a single degree of freedom system because there are so many floors. So a computer can analyze the building and let's just say in this example, the computer outputs 1.8 seconds for the period. So we have to actually check this value and that's why we're gonna find the approximate natural period. So this is the equation here for the approximate period. We have TA equals CTH sub N raised to the X. And we're gonna use this table here. And this table is based on table 12.8-1 from ASCE 7-10. So one important thing is we need to know what type of uh, building this actually is. So this is, a, this is a special reinforced concrete shear wall building and that is given in the prompt. So this would go under all other systems right here. And now we have our CT and our X. So we just go ahead and plug that right in. So we have TA equals 0 0.02 times the height 156 raised up to the X, which is 0 0.75. That's this value here, this X value. Okay, plug that in and we get 0 0.88 seconds but we're not done yet because we have to check the upper limit so the equation for the upper limit is cu ta and cu this guy here is found also using this table so we're given our sd1 is 0 0.5 so if sd1 is 0 0.5 then our cu will be 1.4 okay so let's go back to our equation here now we have Cu is 1.4, our Ta is 0 0.88, and that will equal 1.24 seconds. Now since the upper limit is less than the computer model, we will actually use this value instead of the computer generated natural period. So now when we want to compute CS, we will use this value for T and not the computer generated value. If you're using Steven Heiner's book, then you could go to page 5-20 and he has a really good table that makes finding the approximate period really easy. So that is 5 20 in Heiner's seismic book. And that is how you find the approximate period of a building.